Hello and welcome. So, big news for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers today. And really kind of shocking news, but the Buccaneers are going to go ahead and re-sign Jamel Dean. Cornerback and um, regarded by most as the biggest free agent um, for the Bucks this year. The biggest free agent that they would be scheduled to lose this year. And yeah, like while I, this is great, by the way. Um, a four-year contract, he's making $13 million roughly a year. Um, that's great he's coming at a fair value and he's coming back to the bucks and we get to keep our starting corner had a breakout season last year all that is great i've never been more conflicted though about a positive re-signing because i keep reminding myself I'm like this is good this is good stuff we've got jamel dean back like hooray you know but i can't help but think that you know like they prioritized him and I get why they prioritized him, but I also feel like they shouldn't have prioritized him. Um, I think there were other people that maybe should have been re-signed first. And now I'm really thinking that it might be tough for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to re-sign said other people. Um, because Jamel Dean's making money. Um, we'll see. Obviously, only time will tell. But, yeah... Kind of a, a really out of left field. Very surprising. Didn't expect uh, to be talking about Jamel Dean coming back to the Bucks. It was kind of an expected, or I should say, an accepted loss. I just ex I, I, I didn't think that there was really any way that that was going to pan out in our favor. Um, but it did. Jamel Dean is back. So even if it means we lose someone else, it is still exciting because Jamel Dean... Um, Back on a second contract with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And we keep our young and talented cornerback uh, tandem, you know, keep them together uh, moving forward. So congratulations to Jamel Dean getting the bag. And congratulations to the Bucs keeping a solid guy around. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.